Welcome to Small Growth Podcast. You are in All About n i c e Channel. And today I'm going to talk about five small steps to build confidence. And this article for Medium and the writer is Parker Klein. So I think everyone w a n t to be a confidence person, right? Because we have heard that confident person、uh, will get anything he or she wants. And The reason why we want to be confident is because、uh, we need to be courageous to do something, and with that courage, we will be confident enough to like, pursue our dream, to ask someone else, to, or to do whatever we want. And once we start doing something, we start getting closer to our destination, right? So, here is the today topic, which is about the trick that h e l p you build your confidence, which is such a small step that you should practice. The first step is to set a goal. No matter what small the goal will be, like just your day goal, your month goal, or your Five year goal, just set a goal first. Once you set the goal, you will like see the end in your mind. And when you see it clearly, you will be able to like be motivated toward that goal. Second step is to pick something you can do consistently. Being consistent is something that helps you be more confident. How? Because once you like being consistent on something, for example, if you want to good at coding, then you keep coding every day. Eventually, you will improve your coding skill. Right? So, being consistent is the key to build your confidence as well. The third step is to make a plan. Like I said, once you have the end in your mind and you like commit to yourself that, that you're gonna be consistent over something, then here is the next step is to make a plan. How you will Be consistent over it. Like the previous example that I have mentioned is to get,、um, is to be good at coding, right? So make a plan is something like, okay, if I want to be good at coding, I gotta study this language, for example, Python first. And then I will go to this website that g a v e us the online courses about Python. So just make a plan so you could see the direction to, toward your goals, the way that you're gonna keep、um, tracking over your period of time. The next step, which is the fourth one, is to take on challenges. I know challenge sounds to be something that is scary, right? But once we can actually overcome the challenge, we will dramatically improve. And here, here is the point of taking on challenge, challenging tasks because if you challenge yourself a lot, And you can actually overcome that, you're gonna be、um, confident. You're gonna、uh, build i n g the trust over yourself on any difficult task. Yeah, and it's pretty obvious to, to taking the challenge can help you building your confidence. Last but not least, is to stick to your word. And here is the word, the face from the article, which is pretty impressive for me, and I would like to read it out loud. Nothing drains your confidence faster than lying to yourself. You know, 
if you actually make the plan, if you actually committed to yourself that you gonna be consistent over something, but you don't act out, it's gonna drain your confidence pretty quickly. Is the most quickest way to like ruin your confidence. Hence, stick to your word. If you um, say like you're gonna do something, then do it. You don't need to do it big at the very first time. Just do something small. Start small, and being consistent over it is gonna like. Uh, Mm, how could I say? It's gonna um, rocketly build your confidence over time, and that's all for today. Thank you for your listening. See you soon.